Welcome. Thank you for investing your time today to learn more about our Bite Size Azure series. My name is Jason Lambert. I'm Cloud Technical Consultant for Microsoft Azure at Ingram Micro. And today I want to answer um, a question around Azure regions. As you see here on this slide, there are 32 different regions around the globe uh, that you can deploy Microsoft Azure services. And this is a, we'll put the link to this page uh, down in the notes below so you can explore the different regions as far as what products are available within each region and I just want to one of the big questions that I always get asked is oh, how and where can I provision services basically rule of thumb at Microsoft is if you're in North America so we'll specifically pick the United States and or Canada and the billing entity is in either region so if you have a head office or the billing entity uh, in the United States of America, you can provision services from around the world. Microsoft's pretty okay with that, uh, as long as the bill comes through uh, the United States of America. If you had a customer, for example, that was in, I don't know, they were in Europe as a head office, if that's the case, Microsoft would like the billing to work through um, that Europe office. So. Uh, te technically, they would like for you to manage the infrastructure from the region that it, that, um, it resides in. <coughs> a lot of uh, people also ask questions around uh, where is it located. So if you look here, you'll see there's several different regions here in uh, the United States. And so a region is actually multiple data centers uh, in an area. So a U.S our US2 is in Virginia and there'll be multiple data centers in that region uh, for you to consume from for redundancy purposes. Hopefully that answers questions around regions. Thank you for joining us today and look forward to, uh, to seeing you again.